So in this lecture, we're going to briefly revisit the concept of isomers. Now, isomers are compounds that have identical molecular formulas, but they differ in structures. Now, isomers can be subdivided into two categories. Structural isomers, also known as constitutional isomers, and stereoisomers. So let's begin by looking at structural isomers. Now, structural isomers are compounds that have the same molecular formula, but different connectivity of atoms. So let's look at one example of a structural isomer. So this is a hydrocarbon. It's composed of five carbons and 12 H atoms. Now, both of these compounds have this molecular formula. So they have identical molecular formulas. But notice that the top compound has a five carbon backbone, while this compound has a four carbon backbone. One of the atoms has been removed from this position and placed on the second carbon. So there is a difference in connectivity, but we have the same exact molecular formula. So these are known as structural isomers. So now let's have a look at stereoisomers. These guys are compounds that have the same exact molecular formula and the same connectivity, but they differ in the arrangement of atoms in space. Now, two types of stereoisomers exist. We could subdivide this into enantiomers and distereomers. So enantiomers are non-superimposable mirror images of one another. So let's look at one such example. So here we have a stereogenic carbon attached to four different groups. If we take the mirror image of this compound, we get a different compound. So compound A and compound B, and these differ in the arrangement of atoms and their mirror images of one another, they're not superimposable. And we know these guys as enantiomers. Now, dystereomers are all compounds other than enantiomers. So all compounds that are not mirror images of one another. And a few examples exist. So cis-trans or ZE isomers are example of dystereomers. So number two, conformational isomers. So eclipse conformation or staggered conformation of a compound. These are dystereomers. Also, meso compounds. Meso compounds are achiral compounds that have stereogenic carbons. These are all examples of dystereomers. Now, stereoisomers and isomers, these two words are usually used interchangeably, but you should know the difference. There is a big difference because isomers can be subdivided into stereoisomers as well as structural isomers. So stereoisomers are isomers, an isomers or an example of an isomer is stereoisomer, but it's not the only one that exists. There are also structural isomers that are not stereoisomers.